What's up y'all, John the Segway. Today's video, we're gonna take the Ulanzi UW Mic 20T and we're gonna try it on the motor vlog setup. So right now I have my Senna 20S microphone boom. This is the stock microphone boom that the Senna 20S comes with. I have the Ulanzi microphone right here, as you can see, clipped on. We're gonna be using the DJI Action 3 action camera for the helmet mount, which is gonna be up front here. I do have a 32 uh, NB, there's an ND filter with polarizing effects. So um, well, let's see how this all turns out, all right? I want you guys to hear how it sounds in a motor vlog setup. My setup is not the ultimate setup. You can probably get this setup more efficiently. Uh, I'm just working with what I have right now. I plan on magnetically clipping it inside here where my mouth is, where my mouth is actually gonna be when the helmet is closed. I do have an, um, so I'm gonna try it over there as well when I get some magnets and stuff like that to put it there, but for now, this is where I'm going to have it. The gain on the action three is set to zero on the internal on action camera. And um, as far as the receiver goes, I have the receiver set to maximum noise cancellation and the lowest volume, just so you guys have an idea on my actual current setting. So I'm going to go on ahead, shoot this video, and then we'll see how it sounds at the end. All right, guys, so we have the ST about to get on the road here so as far as the DJI action 3 goes we have the settings for it the internal audio settings set to zero as far as the gain goes the microphone and I may have to talk a little low because the microphone is pretty much right on my mouth so in case you guys didn't know I'm one of those slow kind of riders I like to relax and cruise I'm not all that doing all that fast stuff so right now I'm on a 2007 Honda ST 1300 sport touring bike a lot of people well not, not a lot of people maybe there's a lot of people that do question this bike as a sport touring bike or being labeled as a sport tourer because of the fact that um they saying a sport touring bike is more like a Suzuki can't remember the model of the Suzuki but it looks pretty much like a sport bike sport bike this one does look like a sport bike but um the seating position is upright so it um the seating position is upright on this bike so it's more like a touring bike it just has sport bike characteristics so that's the difference between this and um, an actual sport bike sport bikes I'll be leaning a lot more forward right now we're using the Ulanzi UW mic um, for all you guys that are interested in using this microphone system if you guys are wanting to use this microphone system for motor vlogging this is kind of what it's going to sound like for you guys my, my uh, visor is all the way open I have my windscreen all the way down and let me see. I think that's pretty much it. The microphone is exactly what I told you guys it was going to be. Right up above my mouth. Right now I'm on my way to the store to find me a some kind of a magnet setup that I can use to keep the microphone right there in front of my mouth so I can use this for motor vlogging. And I'd probably go back and forth between this and my Rode Wireless Go 2. And what I like about these wireless microphones, as far as motor vlogging goes, is uh, the fact that they're wireless and they have pretty long battery life. So most people, if you're motor vlogging, if you start off with a fresh battery, um, this Malulanzi setup, it's telling you you'll get about eight hours, roughly, of battery life per microphone if they're fully charged. The thing is, that's eight hours if you don't have the noise canceling maxed out. If you have the noise canceling maxed out, you can probably drop it down about six hours because um, it uses a lot of the internal processor to process the sound so you don't have a whole bunch of noise in your video. So that's going to use up battery, obviously. <laughs> oh my gosh. Saw that coming. <laughs> guys, guys, pay attention out here. I'm talking to you guys and sometimes it seems like I may be stalling, but that's just because I'll be paying attention so hard. Sometimes you have to out here because people are so distracted these days with riding. 
I mean, with driving and just, you just don't know what you're going to get, man. So it's always good to just kind of pay attention, keep your eyes open and um, protect yourself, you know, keep yourself in a riding position that people will see you in and it should be all good, you know. So how does this sound? I feel like this was like a new, a new thing, but I'm pretty sure other people have used wireless microphones for audio. You just got to take the gain. You got to put the volume down as low as you can, depending on the microphone sensitivity. And then um, it's always good practice to um, just keep your volume levels down. It doesn't have to be super low. It's always good to do test videos if you want to motor vlog. That way um, you kind of know your volume levels for the different speeds. That way when you want to do motor vlogs or anything like that, you... Uh, you're not surprised with some crap audio, you know. In the comments below, uh, if you ride, if you motor vlog, if you ride electric scooters, electric unicycles, aka EUCs, anything that requires or would make you think that you should have a helmet on, and you do videos, what do you uh, what do you use for for your audio setup? If you have a link to your audio setup, put it in the comments below. Let's let us all see what you guys are working with. This is what I'm going to be working with. Like I said, I'm either going to be using this microphone or my Rode Wireless Go 2. And uh, when I do make videos, with depending on which microphone I'm using, I will put the name of the microphone in the video so you guys have an idea. And it's literally just the microphone. There are some adapters involved, so I'll put links to those in the description below as well. But there are links. Yes, go that way. Sometimes I don't put my turn signal on because, you know, there's no stop sign here. But she's stopping. I don't, I don't get why. So we're going to go in Menards and see if I could find me some magnetic clips so that you guys can hear this audio. Or I could use this microphone setup and not have to worry about clipping this microphone onto my microphone boom arm. All right. So here we go. Right now I have the, um, you guys see me good? That's another good thing I like about this Action 3. The field of view is amazing, you know? So anyways. So right now we have the volume set to the, to the lowest level still okay the action three is at plus four on the gain i think the gain on the action three goes all the way up to 12 like plus 12 decibels so right now it's at four and um my visor is cracked open one crack so that's what that's looking like and i changed the noise canceling from off to one so it's on level one of three just so you guys know, I thought I had the game set to one already, but it was actually off. So now we got the game to one. That's what it sounds like. Right now we're doing 43 miles per hour. If you guys are wondering how the Action 3 is mounted, the bottom of the Action 3 is magnetic. So it'll stick to any metal. Well, I have a metal fuel tank on my bike, so... I have it stuck to my bike right now. We're doing 54 miles an hour. We'll, we'll bring it up to about 70. Wind screen is all the way to the lowest. We got the visor crack. crack open. Guys, also, guys, keep in mind when you use this microphone for your phone or your camera, uh, it will drink the power from your phone. It's very, very, very little as far as the power loss from your device that you have the receiver plugged into, very little. Visor is closed completely. Wind screen's all the way down. So I'm getting maximum airflow into the helmet. This is what it sounds like. All right, peoples. So right now we have set up differently right now. So what I did was I went in the settings and I've changed and the crazy part is this microphone isn't very comfortable in this helmet. I just don't have a lot of space for the uh, for this microphone in my helmet. So I'm going to show you guys here. That's how narrow and how well um, 
you have to shape the magnet to the clip so that it will actually fit in the case when you go to charge it. So this section of the video we're going to do on the weakest noise canceling and the volume is still at the lowest setting, okay? Because when I was watching the video back, I couldn't hear my motorcycle or anything else around me, which was very impressive. But I know some people want to hear the actual motorcycle that's being ridden during a moto vlog. So my bike is very quiet. So if you guys have a louder motorcycle, you're probably going to hear your bike more than, you know, you've heard mine. Mine is pretty quiet, like I said. So you're very likely not to hear it on top of the fact that I do not ride my bike loud, meaning I don't do all that revving and stuff that a lot of people do. It's just not my style, so. Let's go on ahead. I'm gonna take you guys on a back road, or one that's loud enough to get some wind flow going on. Right now my visor is wide open, so. You guys should hear some wind noise coming in, if anything. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, beautiful day. As you guys can see, the motorcycle says 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, that was standing temperature. It'll probably drop to like 73, 72 once I get going and the sensor gets some moving air. See, it's already down to 73. Um, this is a very quiet helmet that I'm using, so chances are, if you guys are using something a little more modern, then um, it's probably going to be really quiet, because like I said, this is an HJC, HJC, uh, what is it, HIS2 or something like that, I'll show it right there. So I have the visor open one click. This is how noisy it is. Kit, you know, being used in a helmet. Uh, will you use it? Are you thinking about it? You have any questions? Always feel free to ask me. I'm always available to you guys. Uh, sometimes I'm a little slow because maybe I'm driving. You know, I got work and stuff. I don't know why this bike feels a little weird right now. Make sure I got some air on my tires. Or maybe it's me. Anyways, uh, like and subscribe if you guys like what you saw today. Subscribe if you think you want to see my videos. I don't do only moto vlogs here. Remember, guys, I do everything. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Jay on the Segway. See you guys in the next video. Peace. Whoa, 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 slow it down, okay? I'm not done with you guys yet. All right, so you guys want my opinion on this microphone? Well, every single time I moto vlog with my Action 3, I am going to use this Ulanzi UW Mic 20T. It's very, very lightweight. That's another thing I didn't mention in the videos uh, versus a GoPro. If you want to use a GoPro with moto vlogging capabilities, you have to put it inside the media mod. The media mod, it just adds extra weight and a little extra bulk to the actual GoPro. This DJI Action 3 with this Ulanzi microphone is extreme. It's all, it's like paperweight. You don't even feel a weight difference with that little receiver plugged into the Action 3, which is amazing, okay? Once you get that microphone dialed in just the way you need it to be dialed in, oh, it's gonna be perfect. You're gonna have really good audio or pretty good audio for what you have. If you guys wanna know my actual, absolute, what I recommend the best settings for this UW mic is, it's always just gonna depend on your, mo on your, on your motorcycle, what type of bike you're riding. But for most models, motorcycles, I think low, medium, volume level is good and you leave the noise canceling at max because as you guys see when the, when the noise cancel was off and when it was on low you was hearing too much wind once i got up to speed with even just the visor one click open all right i did do the entire ride with the visor you know either open or closed but the windscreen was always at the lowest ele you know lowest height and uh that's just to give you guys an idea if you guys have a windscreen or something like that just know that it's always going to be quieter okay and i think you should be good so i am personally me i'm going to use it every time i use the, uh, the action 3 i am going to use this ulanzi microphone because it's super super lightweight 
um, I have figured out I'm gonna show you guys how I've mounted it in my helmet it's always a tricky how to show that because the, the, the area inside the helmet is so narrow you can't really get your camera in there to show you guys how you have it mounted specifically so just when you guys see that video just kind of look around and use your imagination a little bit to see what i'm doing so to have an idea on what exactly i did okay um thanks for watching guys if this video brought you any value go on ahead and hit the like button if you like to see random content on random things subscribe you don't have to obviously um, i am very active when it comes to answering questions so you if you guys do have any questions you can ask me it on here um, you can find me on snapchat jay on the segway instagram whatever other platforms you use so if you guys do have a question and i can make a video short giving you the answer i have no problem doing that especially if i have the equipment nearby that you need you know that you have the question to that i can answer so um thanks for watching guys see you later on the next video next video will be of me like i said showing you guys how i actually was cutting the metal plates and getting the magnets to where i got them so that i could actually have this uh microphone somewhat secured inside this you know inside of my helmet all right thanks for watching peace Thank you.